what a lovely day of September, what a sunny day and two special bikes. Matei, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. We have over here the German take on the American market, the BMW K1600 GT Beggar. And over there... It's a Harley-Davidson Road Glide Ultra. Okay, tell us more about your bike. I bought it last year and um, she has a new engine on it, uh, the Milwaukee 8 engine, which is new, beginning with 2017. 107 uh, cubic inch and uh, Harley-Davidson uh, doesn't say uh, how much uh, horsepower it has, but uh, uh, has uh, 153 Newton meter uh, of torque. So it's all about torque? In this case, yes. Basically, this one is a touring machine, a sport touring machine, the well-known K1600 from uh, BMW, but it has a baggerish approach. It has two streamliner like uh, side cases it has a smaller windshield a different seat and uh, it was created somehow for the american market i suppose okay let's talk about the engines six cylinders from bmw you know this this engine uh, they tell us the horsepower because it's about revs over here we have 160 horsepower it's a free revving machine and uh, it sounds very nice when grabbing the, the handlebar and grabbing the acceleration. And totally different uh, engine. It's a V-twin, of course, which is not so high rev like, uh, like yours. But anyway, it's about vibrations and, uh, like you know, uh, good vibrations from, uh, from Harley. You wrote them both. Which are the differences between the engines? They are totally two different worlds. You have uh, an engine for, uh, let's say, retired uh, sport bike riders, and you have an engine for uh, people who are more into touring and to, into comfort. So it's not a comparison, uh, a direct comparison. Both are great engines, and uh, both are actually also comfortable, and both sounds very well. With this new engine, this Milwaukee 8, with a uh, single cam engine and, uh, and eight valves, that's why Milwaukee 8, um, the engine has uh, less um, vibrations than before and uh, it makes uh, the, the ride very comfortable, actually. I must say that I am really amazed about the brakes that BMW comes with. Are awesome, awesome brakes. Uh, linked uh, brakes with ABS It's very very easy to stop the bike only with two fingers when going very fast It has good suspension. It's also dynamic suspension and electronic suspension. You got uh, different settings uh, If you want to go sportier, you can make it harder if you want to go more comfortable on bumpy roads You can do it so and I noticed on this pavement well, the suspension acts really, really good, Sur surprisingly good. Actually, the, this uh, rear suspension has the new auto-leveling function that BMW offers. Yes. And speaking about electronic suspension, this bike comes with the all electronic aids that BMW can offer. It has all kind of things. It has the quick shifter, it has the, I don't know, the riding modes, it has Adaptive xenon lights, it has uh, the traction control connected to the riding modes. It's a really, really safe bike and uh, really advanced bikes, a bike in terms of electronics. Beginning with uh, 2017 touring models, uh, Harley changed the brakes. The bike has whole new brakes, new suspension, and of course, like I said, the new engine. Uh, and um, all these uh, brand new parts on the bike makes the bike, for a Harley at least, very dynamic and uh, very precise. Yes, I noticed it, but we must uh, be clear that the BMW is the dynamic one between... These of two course, bikes. that's why I've told you, this is for a Harley, a great bike. So if you have the expectations for performance like they are coming from a Harley, you will be well served with this bike.
of course, is not that dynamic and sporty like the BMW. Although it's not so comfortable as the Touring K1600, it's still a comfortable bike, uh, for me at least, because uh, I'm not very tall. It's a great bike, it, ha it has an electrically adjustable windshield, you can put a larger windshield over here if you don't like the, this small one. It has uh, heated seat, heated grips, it has cruise control, it even has a reverse. Which is very nice. Which is very nice for a heavy bike. It has these uh, footboards, but you can't uh, switch, switch the gears. You you must put your foot uh, back on the on the foot peg. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, I must say that it's very it's a very comfortable bike, but it's not as comfortable as your bike. Yes, of course. This is a touring bike and this is something else um, and uh, I must, uh, I must uh, recognize that for my height and for my uh, uh, riding style it's, it's, a, it's a good package for me. I have enough room for my legs, I have a nice knee angle and um, I have a very comfortable seat, windscreen of course and uh, the, this upright position is, is very good on the, on the long um, um, stages, touring stages. Uh, any wind buffeting? What about the weather protection? How do you find it? I find the weather protection very nice and you, as you can see, you have this large and wide uh, windscreen, so you have actually protection on your shoulders, head and uh, uh, everything. So um, the, the wind protection is very nice and also with 2017, this shark nose was redesigned, so you have uh, these three uh, holes which are um, working very good and uh, you don't have any buffeting behind uh, the windscreen. You can ride uh, up to 160 kilometers per hour without problems. You don't feel the wind, you don't feel the speed. And um, the engine is um, at a low uh, rev because uh, especially the six gear is very long, so you don't feel uncomfortable. I noticed that you have a special color over here. It looks very nice in the yes, sunlight. Yes, actually, I want it. I want it in blue. And um, at the dealership, um, I find out that this color is a custom color. That's why I had to pay extra. But uh, anyway, it's a very nice uh, pearl uh, two-tone blue with pinstriping and with golden leaf uh, Harley Davidson logo. And um, it is worth uh, the money for for this blue color. Yeah. It's a Harley Davidson, it's a touring Harley Davidson, it, it, it looks great. Uh, you can feel it by touching it, it also, uh, it, it also has a solid construction. But I think this one uh, is okay too. In this segment and in this uh, price range, uh, premium class, you cannot find, uh, find a, a bad bike. So, of course, uh, the quality of the materials and uh, everything is, is premium on, on both bikes beginning with uh, chrome, uh, metal, aluminium, plastics, everything is high quality. What I noticed and uh, what I like very much about your bike is the, the way you can open the, the side. Uh, I can show you right now. Is one hand. Uh, That's very nice. For this one, you must push a button and then... And now I must close it. <laughs> It's okay, actually. Yes, why not? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, uh, I forgot to tell you about my music. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so it has a, I don't know, a boom box, uh, five point, uh, I don't know how many. But anyway, it's a very nice um, sound system with uh, four speakers. And um, it makes a lot of noise. Actually. Really? Yes. Is it louder than the Screaming Eagle? Uh, sometimes, yes. You are a Harley Davidson owner. Uh, what do you think about the styling of this bike, of the bagger, of the BMW? I guess it's hard to say it's a new bike, so uh, I don't know. I'm, I own uh, Harleys uh, since 15 years or a, a little bit more, so I have some, I need some time to get used to this uh, new design, but uh, the bike. Uh, 
looks well and aggressive. So I, I would not uh, change my Harley for a bike like this, but I'm sure that in my garage it will be praised for both uh, bikes. So it is something quite, uh, quite different, so I cannot uh, compare them directly. But anyway, it's a, it's a nice design and uh, the bike is uh, still very, very aggressive. Okay, so what about the character? How would you describe these bikes? Yes, it's a, a long story. We can talk about this uh, until uh, tomorrow morning, but uh, let's put it like this. I would say this is the magic carpet and your bike is the broomstick. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice. A fast broomstick. In, in very fact. fast.